cold and windy out there today, folks. It's just about the right amount of wind, though, so I'm not going to complain. Go get it. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fish this side. We're getting a big wind break from this island. I wanted to fish this bay back here that I'd fished last weekend. Had some good luck on. A lot of birds back here. I know there's a bunch of bait. <clears throat> I just don't know if the wind's gonna cooperate with us to push us along or not. We've got a northwest wind today. That island's right in the way. Go around over here to the edge of this island, catch the wind, let that wind push us back into this bay. It won't be the same stretch of water I fished last week, but it'll be roundabout close. And then at least we'll have the wind working for us, pushing us along. Bunch of bait all over the screen, just balls and balls and balls of bait. We should be in for a good day out here today, guys. Had a cold front push through. We went from mid-70s to low 50s, but water temps are holding pretty good. We got 61 degree water temps. Last time I was out, it was about 62, 63. So the temps haven't dropped the water that bad. sock and the bucket today depending on how this wind cooperates all right get me slowed down there there she's open how fast are we gonna go with the drift sock Still a little fast. We got a gust pushing right now, though. We'll slow down in just a sec. Yeah, 0 .5, 0 0.7 without that gust. So we'll be all right. Got some big baits out here today, guys. Wanted to catch some bluegill, and I found a little honey hole that was holding some big ones. If I wasn't catfishing, these would be going home and in the frying pan. No shad. No chicken. No drum, straight bluegill today. I got eight big baits. We're gonna be dropping these baits down, fishing anywhere between 11 to 13 foot of water. Hoping to catch some big blue cats today, guys. Stick around for the action. God. These baits are ridiculous. Right, though big baits big fish y'all that's the game plan like I said guys big baits today that one's actually on the small side the one on this other rods even bigger get that old boy out the back bigger one on that one I'm telling you those are eater sized bluegills right there looking for some big blues today those are the kind of baits that get it done let us drift along here about 100 150 yards we'll lock these rods down start this drift fishing out of a wilderness system radar 115 if any of y'all are wondering what kind of kayak I'm floating 
Got that rigged up with a water snake, 18 pound thrust trolling motor, 50 amp hour lithium battery, Hummingbird Helix 7, running a 12 amp hour lithium battery on that one. Nice little rig, I enjoy it. First drift. This isn't a big bite. He's on it. We got it. First drift. I think we're about maybe 20 minutes in. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. He's already up to the top. Throwing a fit out there. Hmm. I told y'all. I thought we were going to be in for a good day. I love fishing these big baits. Weeds out a lot of the smaller fish. Occasionally you'll catch a small fish on the uh, trailer hook that I've got on these rigs. I don't think this one's going to be a giant, but he'll probably go maybe in the 20s. Right now he's just up to the top. Letting me drag him in. He ain't putting up too much of a fight. Come on, dude, wake up. Get him up here to the boat. He's likely to come alive. Not a bad fish to start the morning. Nope. Not bad one at all. Trailer hook got this guy. I wouldn't be surprised if that other rod doesn't go off while I'm messing with this one. said guys not a giant but definitely a solid fish probably upper teens low 20s solid way to start the day we'll get this one back see if we can't pop one just a little bit bigger what's up brother Ooh. that one was heading south that's a better fish oh yeah that's a better fish definitely a better fish heck yeah Two fish, first drift. You can't beat that, y'all. This one's heavy. He ain't moving. Now he is, because he's swimming at me. Stay over there to the left, bud. That way I don't have to reel in this other line or move it. Try and keep that drift sock in as long as possible. Keep our pace. At least until this fish gets up to the boat and I can see exactly how big it is. Alright. He's big enough that I'm not gonna mess with this drift sock being in the way. Peeler.
this right here is where it gets interesting. Right at the side of the boat. It's probably gonna dig like crazy. All right, we got the weight up and out of the water, but he's gonna dig. I knew once we got back into this bay where all this bait was at, we'd get on one. That first one was just right on the edge. Stay connected, big boy. Yes, good fish. Yep. Come on, dude. Get up here. I want you in the boat. Feisty one. Alright, we got the leader. I'll tell you what, this fish fought a whole lot harder than for how big he is. Yeah, I was expecting a 30. I mean, that's still a darn good fish, y'all. He's got some nice muscular shoulders on him. But I was expecting something a whole heck of a lot bigger than this dude. Put up a heck of a fight, though. We'll get him back. Oh, golly. That thing just got smoked. Is he on it? He's got me all slacked up. Oh, yeah, he's on it. Ready me. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now we're headed in the right direction. That's a good one. Yep, he's a drag peeler, y'all. That's what we were searching for. I knew there'd be a big one on the end of this drift. Oh, yeah. Woo, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Riding the big waves. That's one thing about the tail end of a drift on wind like this. It gets just a little rocky on the end of it. Take it easy on me, bud. Come on now. Swimming right at me, huh? I don't even think he knows he's caught. He's gonna get up here and give me a fit in just a second. Y'all better be ready. life decisions here real quick. Catch up with him. There he is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now he knows he's caught. Pull and drag like crazy. fish. Still like mid-20s though, guys. We haven't been able to break into the 30s today. I'm not sure what's up with that. Still a real solid fish. Well, he 
just broke me off. That fish took my rig and everything. God, dog. He came alive real quick. Well, that dude's swimming around with a freaking demon dragon in his chops. Now we gotta retie. Well, I did get my drag weight. The tail end of that last drift was a hot mess. Dang near got my finger ripped off. Sliced my finger open pretty darn good, but we're still out fishing. Had that went a different route, I might have ended up in the uh, old doctor's office getting some stitches. craziest thing man that fish was just all wrapped up in that leader line as soon as I got him unwrapped man he freaking darted straight underneath this boat I had that braid in my hand like this and it ripped right across my finger if it had been wrapped around my finger that would have been a bad situation fortunately the braid broke on something right here on the side of my boat I'm sure glad it did oh, oh, good god almighty Man, he came off. That was a freaking giant, guys. That was a freaking giant. I don't know how he came off. Golly. That fish freaking crushed that bait, man. How did we miss that fish? That is the question. Both hooks are in good. Now nope, trailer hooks out. God, oh. We just drifted over a ton of bait. I kind of figured we were gonna get smoked through there. Wasn't expecting like that though, man. That fish lift that rod up. All right, Jig Heads, I'm wrapping this one up. Outro after the video. I was so frustrated after this trip that I didn't end up filming an outro, so this is what y'all get. Dang near lost a finger, caught some decent fish. Hope y'all enjoyed the episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember folks, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see y'all on the next one.